In this next video, we're going to show how you can use a script for data insertion so you don't have to do all this stuff manually, if it's the kind of thing where you know you need to redo this from time to time. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we have this table, uh, units, and if I select everything from it, you see that right now it's got five records. Okay, great. What I want to show ties in a little bit with our last uh, video, but um, what we can do is we can make a script for this table, and what it's going to be is drop and create to new query editor window. I'm going to hit connect. Now what's going to happen when I do this is it's going to recreate this table but when it does that it's uh, it's going to drop the table first and then it's going to um, it's going to blow the data away. See we just ran this entire script it gets rid of all the constraints and then it comes down here it rebuilds a table so now even though that looks like the same table, it's really a, a new table with the same name. But when I select everything from units right now, whoops, whoop, eh, hey, cut that out. Um, there's nothing in it. So when you create a script to create a table, if you're going to drop the table and recreate it, the data that was in that table is just gone. It, it doesn't matter if like you didn't mean to do that, or and it doesn't matter how much you cry or how much you apologize to your boss. Once you run a script to drop a table and recreate it, the data has gone away. It hasn't gone to a better place, it's just kind of gone. But <clears throat> what I wanted to show you now is, how could you actually populate this empty table with data? If you wanted to script that, it's really simple. Let me just go to, uh, I've got some scripts here. All you would really do is um, have a script, you know, something like this. Uh, now I'm going to say delete from units, it's kind of, you know, doesn't make any sense because there wasn't anything in this newer version of this table anyway. And I'm going to use set identity insert on, and then I'm going to set all these records like this. If this was something that already had records in it that got blown away, you know, you could use this, you don't have to, but basically this here is the meat of this script. Um, because it's a brand new table, I don't even really have to do the in identity insert part of it. Um, but anyway, let me just run this. So this zero rows affected is because we deleted from it. Nothing got deleted. Um, if I go back here now to look at this table, see now it, it just put all that information in it for me. Now if I run this again, everything will be the same down here except it'll say five rows affected because it's deleting five rows. But basically you get the idea. Basically when you're making a script to insert into a table, these are the kind of records that you need. If you're also going to be um, doing an identity insert, meaning that you're going to be inserting specific values to the key field, then you have to uh, do identity insert. 